Hey everybody, Ed Home with Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today I wanted to do something kind of cool. I wanted to show you how to add equalization and room correction to your vintage Hi-Fi gear. And it's actually quite simple. This is a Weem Pro unit. And with a recent update from Weem in their software, it added room correction. Now it's always had equalization, but the room correction is really, really interesting. So we're gonna use my vintage Marantz PM74D. Uh, Class A integrated amplifier. We're running a Weem Pro, and then I'm running a little digital analog converter, which will be a secret until a later video, but it's a little $80 DAC with swappable op amps, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and reset. I'm going to go back and sit down and show you on my iPad, film that, the process of where you find equalization, where you find the uh, uh, room EQ, uh, room correction software, and everything. So it, it is actually pretty cool. And then Unfortunately, because I can't play sound clips, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to hear it, but at least I want to show you. So if you have vintage gear, doesn't matter what it is, you can do, you can add equalization, room correction, and get that sound in the way you really want it to. So give me a couple minutes to reset, and we'll come back and get that all done. There, as you can see, the Weem is sitting on top of the old Marantz unit. And by the way, those are my new Wharfdale Diamond speakers, the new reference for the studio. And we're going to scroll down here to the iPad itself. And I'm going to try and make sure you guys can see it. So we're going to start the Weem app, and you'll see it connects right to the Weem immediately. There you go. Now, along the bottom are some menu choices and obviously whatever track I was playing last. Ignore those. What we want to do is go to the little gear right here, and it brings up the menu of all the different things. Rename, device info, alarm clock, all kinds of stuff. Your preset, standby mode if you have a remote. But you'll notice here we've got EQ and room correction. So if I go ahead and touch room correction, and it says, you know, it talks about how it's going to analyze the sound and obviously adjust the equalizer for it. So we're going to go ahead and next. And then it says stay quiet during the process. Now, I'm not going to do it because it doesn't film well, but you'd hold the iPad or your iPhone. And by the way, it only works on iOS it, in the manner you see there. And then we're going to go ahead and play a sound. And now what it'll do is it'll sweep the sound and measure the room. And there you can see now it's running the analysis on it. It's very quick. It's very simple. You don't need a calibrated microphone for it. Um, you just need to hold the... Uh, iOS device as shown. Now on iPads, and it's hard to see here, but iPads, the microphone's over here. Well, here you can see the equalization curve, and I'm going to just kind of pull in a little closer. Now the yellow curve is the target response that they wanted. The white line is what was measured, and the uh, magenta line is the equalization they applied to get the green line, which is the predicted response. Now, again, I didn't hold this in the right position. And again, my room is partially uh, treated, so it makes it a little bit different. So then now we can complete the correction and it's going to go through. Now, you'll notice the EQ setting says auto. If we touch it, this shows you the EQ applied to the room. Now, there was obviously some sort of issue here because we have a little Oh, I don't know what that means. I've not seen that before in this. So anyway, you can see the EQ and all of the different frequencies which it adjusted and how it adjusted it and what the Q was. Now, when we talk about Q, and, and I can, we can go to the graphic equalizer if I want to change it, but the parametric EQ is the one you really want for the, this. The Q is the, the width of the slope. The higher the Q number, the broader the slope. The, the smaller the Q number, the more narrow, more peaky the, the slope is. So there you can see that's the uh, Weem applying uh, EQ to my room with that vintage Marantz unit. And again, we can use the nice thing about it is we can use the Marantz unit or the Weem as a remote control for the Marantz unit, which I think is really cool. So we're going to come out here, we're going to browse and we're going to go down here and we're going to find a title track and we'll go to my collection and we'll pick a track here and we'll go ahead and play something. And I can only play it for a second but you'll hear it, and there's my volume control. So now I've added volume control, room EQ, and a graphic equalizer to my vintage gear, which I think is way cool. Very, very neat. 
Well, there you go. That's the Ween Pro. I think it's a compelling addition to a vintage hi-fi gear. When we get remote control volume, we get equalization if we want to adjust it ourselves and tailor the sound to our particular interests. And we've got the room EQ, which can compensate for any sort of room. I mean, it's not 100% perfect and you can adjust it once you're in the app, as you saw, but it can compensate for some, you know, bass problems. It can, and basically it's going to be in the bass range where you're going to get the most compensation. But again, you know, you may not have control over your room and, and whether or not you could put sound dampening material in it or not. Anyway, this is, I think, a very compelling product for vintage hi-fi. It gets a big thumbs up from me and 150 bucks. I think it's an absolute steal. So anyway, try one out and let me know. Please like, please subscribe. 80% of the folks that watch my videos aren't subscribed and it would really help the channel if you did. The more subscribers I have, the more credibility I have with the manufacturers to get gear in for review and that helps grow the channel. Also, please comment. Anyone who's commented knows I respond to the comments. I read them all. Um, I love that interaction we have and that sharing of information. Tell me what you think of the Wien Pro. Tell me what you think about DSP and room correction and everything else. Also, share with me your playlists. I have on my community post, if you go to my main page, main YouTube channel, uh, you'll see a tab called community. And then there is a listing of several playlists that folks have sent me in for you to enjoy. And I would love to build that list up so we can all kind of hear what we're all doing. And especially any of my overseas viewers, I would love to hear what you're listening to and what's on your playlist. So please share that with me. And again, I will post it in the community post anonymously. So anyway, that's the tail of the tape on the Weem Pro again. Big thumbs up for Vintage Hi-Fi. I really think it's a compelling product. Anyway, thank you so very much, guys. I really appreciate the time you give me on my videos. I really do. I'm having a ton of fun, and I hope you're enjoying them. And I really, it's humbling uh, with all the positive feedback I get. I, it's, I probably don't deserve any of it, but thank you so much. Anyway, this is Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi channel, saying, now you got to go listen to some music, maybe on your vintage gear with a Ween Pro. Thank you so very much.